Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to this game's tutorial. Today, we do not do the share center, I lied again. We do this new thing over here on the right, uh, which is really poorly placed. But it is our ability plane. So basically, this is the exact same thing as you see in the game. However, we added some abilities to it and we hid in the boost morale because we don't need to cast boost morale from this hub. So the two new abilities we add are called rewarded add for gold and rewarded add for diamonds. Basically, every 15 minutes you have the option to watch an ad, and that ad is going to reward you with in-game currency. So it is over here on this very plane, and it is also in the game down there. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, let's go back to what we've done in the last episode. So basically we've did this, we've did the research, we've did the loot, that's what we did in the last episode, the loot. And we're able to set, convert it back to better currency or worse currency. And today was supposed to be the day that we tackled the share center, however, we still forgot a little thing. Um, we need some kind of way to cast abilities in this hub. Now you might be saying, why would you like to cast abilities? Those are used for in-game stuff. But not all of them are going to be used for in-game stuff only. So there's going to be abilities that you can use in the game and then abilities that is going to be used uh, either here or in the game. They're going to be at both places basically and they're going to have an, like, an actual effect on your whole save game, not necessarily just the game you're playing right now. Let me just show you what I mean by creating two new scripts under the ability. The first one is going to be called rewarded add gold and it's basically going to be whenever you play that ability it plays an ad and if the ad finishes then you get some gold now um, all we're going to be doing in this one just for now is to change the inheritance for base ability so we're going to put this in our clipboard close it up right click again and this is going to be the rewarded add diamond so there's going to be two different abilities where the, the player can actually watch an ad gives us some revenue and then gives him some currency in the game so those are the kind of abilities i'm talking about you you'll be able to actually cast them from inside the game but you'll also be able to cast them from outside now we're going to be hiding abilities that are going to affect only gameplay so in our hub, we don't want to do a boost morale because that would be plain useless. So let's head over here. We are going to duplicate, say, the war table, move it on the right a little bit, like so. That is now our ability. Ability, yeah. So let's rename this for ability. Under it, there is the war table waypoint, which is now going to be the ability waypoint. Let's find a nice little angle thingy. That will do the job. Game object, align it with you. And here we go, we have our new um, hub object. Now this one has the ability waypoint, but it has the war table menu right now, so we're gonna need a new menu. Now I suggest you just take any of those, copy and paste, change this for ability menu. Make sure that the alpha of ability menu is one and that whichever one is showing on the right here is on zero. Okay, so ability menu, I'll clear everything inside of it, and that's our new canvas to do our magic, basically. And I don't really want to be doing any kind of really, like, <laughs> super magic here. Uh, the way we made our ability container, it could actually fit here as well, so that's what I'll do. I'll simply copy-paste from what we have in the game. Let's have a look in the game to the UI, bottom UI, ability panel. And just take the whole ability list. Don't bother about like taking only the container. Take the whole ability list because this one has the uh, the scroll rect on it. Well, I mean it doesn't, but you know it's the it's the core object we need. So let's copy this. Go back to our hub. Find our UI root, ability menu, and paste. Put it just beneath that guy, and we're gonna be able to put a scroll rect on top of our ability menu now. So the content of that scroll rect is going to be the ability list. We're scrolling on the vertical only. Movement is clamped, and the rest pretty much works on its own. 
Now, in terms of fixing that piece of UI, we are going to do a few things. First one is we're going to make sure, let's, uh, let's actually make sure this one is stretched on both axes. Put everything back on zero. As you can tell, there is some scaling issues, so scale is now one, one, and one. Just after that, we are going to do a force child expand on width. Or we could give ourselves some kind of padding on the side, but eh, we'll see later on. Now on the container itself, we can change the preferred height for say 125, sounds great. So we can actually take more space here, doesn't really matter. Um, what else? Preferred width, I can totally remove that because we're withering the uh, force expand. And that should be pretty much it for that. Um, quickly, before we get we go any further, I am going to open up the Ability Manager. And in the Ability Manager, there is this thing over here, the Enum. Let's put our new abilities in there, so rewarded add gold 1, rewarded add diamond 2. So we can actually select them from the drop down list here now. So you see on the right, this is going to be the rewarded add gold. We can change the title for that, uh, rewarded add gold. And now as for the text, we could be putting it up here. You can just redo your whole UI thing. As long as you don't swap the order in which those item appears, you should be fine. So we're going to increase the size of the icon. Description is going to be bigger as well. Um, support this application by watching an ad and get in-game reward, something like that. It's on best fit, so I can just put my text like this. Okay, the use button now, the use button and duration. So where could we be putting our duration? What about here? Is that too weird? Yeah, that's probably too weird. Let me move description a bit. Um, I'll just put everything in the center, then move it, like so. Description, same thing, put it in the center. Now I just play with the sizing of it, so that's good. That's 40 height. That is going to be it, like that. Right. So, as always, you just play, just play around with these settings until you find something that looks good. And once you do, then you're good to go. Why is this one anchoring on a weird places? Never mind. Okay, so that's fixed too. Here is our first ability for um, this actual section. So we've got this. What next do we need? We need to change the button, of course. This one looks awful right now, so maybe a hundred by. 80 will do the job. Remove it about here. Inside of it, there is a cost. There is not, like, the, this ability doesn't take a cost, so I don't even bother about this. The button message, however, we can have this be a little bit bigger, like this. And duration is fine. Alright, so what else do we need here? Oh, the ability list, this thing over here. Let's make sure that this thing actually anchors at the very top. Also with the anchor with the pivot point as well. So holding shift. Then I'll put the position Y on zero. We can now go ahead and just start duplicating these if we have multiple. Uh, we do have two, so the second one is going to be rewarded add diamond. And uh, all I have to do in here is just change the text, so let me just do that. Rewarded add diamond. Very well, so what else do we need to do whenever we add a new ability to the game? we need to do, we need to add it to the actual tower script. Uh, I mean, tower objects. So that's the next step we need to do. Let's go ahead and open up our preloader. Inside of the preloader, as you can tell over here on the right side, this is our tower. We are going to drag and drop our rewarded add gold and also rewarded add diamond. Let's put the appropriate enum. As for the currency, we don't really care since those are going to be free. You don't need to use any currency or loot to cast those. 
that in fact you don't even have the option to use loot, so that's fine. Um, as far as the cooldown goes, just just say that you want to be able to do this every 15 minutes. So every 15 minutes it would be 15 times 60 times 60. Okay, so 54,000 like this, it is going to last zero second. It's not an active, it's you do it and then it goes on cooldown. And while you do it, you get the currency. Okay, so let's give this an actual look before we implement it in the game as well. I'm gonna go here, did I click too fast? Why did that happen? Let me just try again. That was weird. Okay, now so we do have some kind of bug here where this thing just is there. It shouldn't be there. So let's have a look at what is going on here. Um, oh, forgot to swap it. So let's expand our UI root, select the ability, that's the actual hub object, and we're going to drag and drop our ability menu in here. This way it is actually turned off whenever we enter that scene. Alright, let's give this a try. So here's the research, loot, everything still works perfectly fine. Except this, of course, we haven't done it. If we click here, we have the rewarded add goal and rewarded add diamond. Let's hit that button, use button. It is active for a second while the ad is playing and it actually does an action, goes on cooldown afterward. As you can tell, action is not implemented. That means this is where we're going to be doing our old um, show me an ad mechanic, right? Same thing here. Everything seems to be working just fine. Now if we close the game and uh, we go back, it did save as well, so the saving works. If we go in the game, nothing really broke, so yeah, we're good. We could actually add it here as well, um, really quickly. So let's go ahead and just do that inside of the game. Uh, how exactly should we go about doing this? It's fairly simple, we're going to go in the 2D UI, find the ability panel, ability list, now the ability container, duplicate it, two more times, actually just one more time. Change the ability container for rewarded gold and uh, we need to change the text as well, so rewarded add gold. Description could be the exact same as when we have in the menu, actually let's do that. Or I mean in the hub. So ability menu, ability list, container, this guy, description, copy this add back into my game and here it is description all right so that's pretty much it now the rest is going to work just fine um duplicate it once more this is the diamond one now of course the order is going to be a little bit more um thought off whenever we add some more abilities. So these ones are going to be at the very end of the UI, I think. They're going to be a little bit hidden. All right, let's give this a try. Go back in our game. Check this out here. We're still on cooldown. That's good. Now, if we head over in our game, currency, research, and abilities. Here they are, and they are on cooldown. All right, guys. So we pretty much added these two things. Of course, we haven't coded the action just yet. I feel like I'll be doing that in like um, just after the share center because when I do the share center we're gonna start thinking about how we're gonna be implementing the um, the little services such as the unity ad service or maybe some share plugging on Facebook and all that kind of stuff so next episode we actually do finally tackle the share center after that we're gonna make the ads work we're gonna be starting to think about how to implement achievements and also the leaderboard so guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. If you did, please give me a like. I really appreciate that. If you have any question or comment, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So guys, thanks a lot for watching again and I will see you in the next one.